Getting a good night's rest isn't always easy. A recent study shows more young people are turning to a sleep supplement known as melatonin to help them fall asleep. King 5's Christine Pay digs into whether this is okay for your child. Melatonin is commonly used among adults as a sleep aid, and if it's good for us, shouldn't it be okay for kids and teens? A local pediatrician offers some do's and don'ts. Let's start with what melatonin is. So melatonin is a naturally occurring hormone that's released by the pineal gland in the brain in response to decreased light. Dr. Susanna Block is a pediatrician at Kaiser Permanente in Seattle. So it's kind of our body's trigger to start to go to sleep. And that's something that we make ourselves. The hormone maintains our circadian rhythms to help cue when it's time to sleep. Ever been jet lagged? Well, that's when your brain hasn't gotten used to changes in that rhythm. But there are synthetic forms of melatonin that you can take to mimic the interaction that makes the brain think it's dark and ready for sleepy time. It comes in the form of a tablet or a gummy. Dr. Block points out melatonin supplements are intended to regulate short-term sleep issues like jet lag. However, there's a lot that we don't know about long-term or daily melatonin use, so it's not recommended to be used that way. Increasingly, though, parents are giving melatonin to children as a sleep aid. Some are even marketed for kids. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association of Pediatrics last month found 6% of kids ages 1 to 4 and 18% of kids ages 5 to 9 are given melatonin by their parents as a sleep aid. This data was gathered from the parents of 993 children ages 1 through 14. Dr. Block says parents should be wary of giving it to their kids. It's not intended for daily sleep aid for most neurotypical children. Mostly because research is lacking on this. Block says rather than a quick fix of using supplements, she advises discussing any larger issues affecting their kids' sleep. And so if you feel that your child is having sleep problems because of stress, um, depression, pervasive thoughts, that's really important to talk to them about that. Adding to the concern, melatonin is not highly regulated by the FDA. We don't always know that what is in the bottle is accurately reflected on the label. Dr. Block says parents can turn to other ways to prep kids to fall asleep, like maintaining a dark, quiet room for sleeping and limiting screen time up to an hour before bed. For HealthLink, I'm Christine.